This podcast is rated R for restricted. Under 17 requires accompanying parent or adult guardian. Mission to 15. All right, so we're doing a bonus episode. This movie is on Hulu. It's also on the list. I think right now it's number 234 on the top 250 movies of all time. So it's relevant in that sense too. Portrait of a Lady on Fire came out last year. Let's do a 10 second review here. Starting with TC, what do you think? Should people watch this movie? No. <laughs> John. Hmm. I mean, I yes. I think so. so. It's oh, hard. Wait. It's hard. I, yeah, I got I I the flip flop. Because there's points that are really imp- intense, but boy, I'll tell you, there's some boring ass shit going on. Yeah, well, if, if you're in like a really relaxed mood, I, I think it's very slow and, and, and I think in a good way, but yeah. Not always in a good way. No, I, I don't know. I enjoyed it. But I didn't say I necessarily really enjoyed it, but I really liked what it was trying to do. I liked sort of the mood it set. And your combined 20 seconds so, is up. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. I'm trying. All right. What do you think, Daddy? <laughs> Yeah, what I think people, I would, I would agree. Time. I think people should definitely watch this if they're in the mood for something slow that they can enjoy. Yeah, and quiet. Slow, slow and, and quiet. quiet. Yeah. Slow and there's romantic. there's no sound until about, what, three quarters of the way through? No, TC, what are you talking about, man? I'm going to start my like, review no, off like, there. I'm no, gonna start no, no, off no, no, I'm this, saying, like, oh, 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 oh. No, I meant like, the, like when the songs start kicking, there's like music and shit. That's like, there's so many fuck, all you hear is ocean for like first no, half No, I love that. Dude, that's one of my favorite parts of this movie. I didn't like that. Well, oh. you know me. Huh. Dude, just it's the just sounds. So, I understand the juxtaposition, but I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't a uh, when I when I, first, when I finally got to that point, I was like, oh, thank God. Oh. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I do think amazing. the ending is the best part, but uh, I think my really, I thought that was really shitty. Oh, what the last shot uh, of the movie? I was like, was do, face? Something, do something, do something, <laughs> do something, uh, dude. Turn what? left, turn left. What are you doing? <laughs> She's watching it. She's watching the opera, man. Yeah, but why doesn't she see it? Shouldn't they see each other? I don't no, know. It's in a dark opera. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't do you know. look around well, at everyone's face when you're at a show? Well, she said she saw her, right? So if you could see one person, the other person could see them back. No, no, no. Right? Because that, she went there because she knew she was going to be there. The person was kind of stalking her because you she know, may have hoped. Uh, yeah. she, had, she didn't know. Because she was like royalty and shit. You oh. can follow royalty. I mean, she found her. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, she was on an island, right? Was she? I thought that's why the mother. I thought that's where they were. They were like in their own little oh, place. Oh, no, no, in, in the beginning, yeah. But oh. like when she got married to that dude. At the mm, end, mm, mm, mm. she's royalty now. So, I mean, oh, right, right, people, right. other people are painting pictures of her because she's famous. I think it's probably pretty right. easy to track like, oh, she lives in this town and there's this opera coming through. I bet she'll be there in a prominent seat. And she was. So she probably just like snuck in there yeah, and watched yeah. her. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, with the slow caveat. Burn. Yes. Slow burn. That's like the oh, only negative part burn. of this movie. It yeah. is pretty slow. But I was in the mood for it. I love the sound. Like all the ocean sounds and the bird sounds and shit. The fact that there was no soundtrack throughout the movie was great. I love the live recordings of like footsteps and shit inside this house. Yeah, I think it helps you really focus on the painting too. That was something I really liked about the film that I don't think I've seen any other film do. I'm sure there are films that have done this, but the focus on like the creation of, you know, there's so much many times you get to see like her doing the, the hands doing the painting. I don't know. That was pretty cool, too. True. Yeah, and that was all real. There was an actual real painter behind the scenes. All the times you see the hands of the person painting Oof. was this was this woman that did all the paintings. Um, she painted I mean, 16 hours cool. a day for the 38 days of shoot and taught the main actress like how to paint and shit. But yeah, I mean, it's, uh, yeah. it's a weird movie because it's getting a lot of praise and stuff, but there isn't... I mean, in terms of storyline, I didn't find there to be too much original or shocking or interesting about the story itself. It was kind of just like, I really enjoyed the cinematography and the sound design and the slow burn really worked. I thought with that kind of relationship. Yep. Uh, wow. You really got into this. Huh? I did. I thought it was really good. I was and, so bored. Uh, yeah. I can see that too. Yeah. I mean, it was <laughs> really slow. in the mood for this. I think it's, it's like the opposite of Hamilton, sort of. There's yeah, like, that's yeah. true. That's a good point. <laughs> like, like Hamilton, you had to be like ready to be like listen and focused, and this one is different. You had to be ready for all this space to be there. Yeah, I mean, right. they and show they show her walking show, from like they it. show her getting in a boat, going across the river or whatever it was, yeah. getting to the shore, walking up the shore, walking up the hill, walking through the woods, yep. walking up to the building, going into the building, walking beautiful. across the first Jeez, floor, yeah. reminding me, it's boring me. Yeah. I thought all that was really cool though, like <laughs> just because of the way it looked. They made it look like paintings in a lot of the case. It was really like Wes Anderson framing, where it was just like symmetrical framing all mm. over the place. And uh, the sound design, 
when she was inside the house and there was a storm going on. I love a good inside of a house stormy day. Uh, I don't shot. know. I didn't yeah. listen to that. Right. It, was, it, was, it, was tops. it was tops. Especially because yeah. everything was like, uh, it's all like the house. You could tell from the sound of the footsteps that the ceilings were super high and like the staircases were super wide. And there was a lot of concrete and marble all over the place because the reflections were just so nice sounding. And I was noticing stuff like that. Did you wear headphones a, or what? No, I, I, have listen, I, I, I had like a laptop speakers this whole movie. Uh, I had to read it. So I was like, I'm not. What? No, dude. I listened to hey, my freaking. I'm going to give you shit for 7. that. 7.1. I, I get, oh, I yeah. Crap for, 7.1 right? with the subwoofer, dude. No, I mean, I, had, I guess I had. No, I guess I, I don't know what I had. Fuck it. I wasn't listening the for the sound. The sound design was, was so <laughs> bored. I was just like, I don't care. The sound was really good in this movie. Uh, so good, right, in well. fact, that my cat, Pilot, who loves sitting next to the window and listening to the outside, Sat right up against the TV the entire time just because there's like birds and like waves crashing and rain uh-huh. outside and shit. He just loved the entire thing. Um, wow. Nice. Stopped eating his poop for a second. Yeah, and was like, hey, I'll listen to this. <laughs> yeah, it felt <laughs> nice <laughs> <little> artistic. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, it enlightened your cat. For a yeah. movie that's that where almost nothing happens, nothing really happens in this movie. Well, there's a love affair that ends. I'm already yawning. Yeah. So but I mean, and it's yeah. also just like it's. It's three characters, three and a it half is. if you count the mom, and maybe if you want to count the house as a, I mean, this is the kind of movie where you might have to start counting the house as a character, <laughs> that's, because that's, yeah, there's okay, nothing I else. See that. yeah. I mean, the, it's they're in this house the entire time. It's yeah. like beautiful people, place, wherever they oh, were, man. huh? Right, yeah. but it really is, it's trying to also give you a sense of, of what it was like for them, and, and as women, what their place was, and what options they had, and how stuck they were. Yeah, um, I was trying to think, like, movies and, right, like this right. typically are a little art housey. Or yeah. a little Hollywoody, like you have the right, right. Kira Knightley, mm-hmm. Jane Austen remakes, and then right, you have like right. the super art house movies trying right. to do something weird. This right. movie just tries to be like normal. It's just like it tries yeah. to be as realistic as possible to tell this like small story. Yeah, and I, it does it really, really well. Really well put. And even like the characters themselves, they're like interesting to look at, but they're not like Hollywood beautiful. Um, and so it, again, it just it just sort of feels they're they're still attractive. But but and they it, got really good posture. Like, Holy shit! You see how straight their necks were? God damn! But the idea too, I don't know. The more I thought about it too, when they talk about it, like the movie's all about looks. That's where they were studying each other. That's how they fell in love was just by looking at each other, um, mm. and and studying there were some each tense other's reactions and things. Yeah, there yeah, was. Isn't that isn't that like moving? I, I also I really liked how they also then like you know there's those exchanges where they describe how they know how they react. And the, the, because oh, yeah, they've that, been watching that back each and other, forth was so. great. She like almost yeah. got offended, and then the other person also was picking up on all these traits. And it was yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That could have been cheesy because I they don't were know basically if I enjoyed it that much. It was cheesy it was, a little bit. The acting, really? the acting sold I, it, dude. The, the acting, acting was really good. Just the idea of it. Just the idea. Oh, I'm like oh, they're gonna go back. Oh, she's gonna say it. Okay, <laughs> okay, cool. But I think cool. because the movie allowed for all of that space where they were just looking at each other, you felt like I don't right. know. I felt like it had built built up to that guy. Felt like yeah, they had been watching each other for a long time and not doing a lot else. I was part of that. I was there. I mean, they um, were they, yeah, they were building some really tense moments just stick looking at yeah. each other. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah, I thought as far as trying to convey that kind of like passion of a first affair or a first love or that that sort of like when you first become really attracted to somebody and what it's like and and how yeah. it develops. I thought this movie really really showed that well and let it sort of like try to almost in kind of a real time way showing it happening. And I, I thought that was kind of impressive, but it's slow. It's it slow. slow. Oh boy. Is it slow yeah. folks? It's, it's not a guy movie, which slow. is great. And like a lot of movie on this list, that was like Nikki's, my wife's first response to it. It's like, that's oh, that a, wasn't a guy's movie. I would this never isn't have a guessed guy movie. <laughs> Yeah. And it's not going to be long for this list, Nikki. Watch out. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get voted gonna, down with all these Scarface fans. I know. Yeah, yeah, where's the mobsters? Yeah, that's true. Where's the guns? That's true. <laughs> but I mean, that's speaking true. of the slowness, I think that works so well for the movie if you cannot be bored by it because mm-hmm. the part even when she, uh, what's her name? Like the uh, the blonde um, the blonde girl. Uh, I don't know. I can't speak French. I don't know. But she wasn't happy yeah. with the painting that she, uh, of her and the uh, the brunette who was painting it swiped at the face and ruined the painting and this movie right. uh-huh. is so slow and so realistic oh, yeah. that i was like no why would you fucking yeah, that do was, that that was like shocking right yeah. it was yeah and i was like what are you gonna do now like you just voted out here to paint one painting and they're not gonna pay you for it now like what's your fucking right. life like are you how are you gonna get back what are you gonna do this is how you make money how are you gonna eat they're probably just gonna kick you out of the house it's a small little thing and this movie is so yeah. realistic that i i just thought all instantly like what does this mean for her did she just fuck herself is she now like homeless 
How does this work? No, right. the love story right. hadn't started yet. She wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, but this small, like, for her to do that, what, I mean, isn't it great that this movie conveys what a huge risk that was for her to take? All right. she did was start right. painting. That's true. But the movie sets it up so you see what, you, you feel the consequence of that. Even though, like, in any other movie, this is a really small act, right? And, and even, like, that's another part of the, the real, another tension of the film. It's like, oh, yeah, why don't, why don't they just run off together, right? Well, that's not going to happen, and it's not going to work. And, and there's, some, there's another sort of argument they have about that, right? Where it's, you know, it's pretty clear this isn't, that wouldn't work out, not at least time and place. Yeah. Um, and so they're trapped, they're stuck. They don't have anything else. You know, they don't have any other directions to go. So even that small act of like tearing the painting seems like such a, uh, almost kind of a heroic act. Agreed. Right? And that's why it, it like started turning her around. So like, yeah. let her do it again because I want her to stay Yeah, here. but. Because she's real, man. I agree, John. That part was great because that also just like, it was the the turning point, at least the visible turning point of uh, the blonde starting to to also fall. I couldn't tell when the brunette was falling for her. It kind of seemed to just happen casually. <laughs> just. Slowly, but, but she, do you know? Uh, no, that was the question. Was when did you first want yeah. to kiss me? Uh, I think I that was the question, right? So, so she may have been falling in love before then. I think, like even right from the beginning, they were attracted to each other, and you could sort of see in the way that they were looking at each other. Yeah, yeah. They had some back and forths that was a little flirtatious, but like I hate you, but I hate you too, but I know, but I like you, love you though. <laughs> you know, like that kind of thing. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. That must have been confusing when, like, I mean, the blonde person caught the brunette person. God, this I hate doing this. I can't pronounce their names anyway. Marianne and Heloise. So Marianne's the brunette mm-hmm. and Heloise is the blonde. So you know what I would advise everybody who's listening to this? See it with someone if you're with someone too. These these are nice things. If you're sitting at home single, that's another reason why I don't think I gave a shit about this movie. I watched I'm it like, by myself. Oh yeah, look at these. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised. Yeah. You know. Nobody doesn't do subtitles. Not single. Very, uh, you're not single. Yeah. That's the point. That was the point, Denny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes love those, those love stories. Yeah, you know, when but you sometimes love those you. romantic movies can get you. You know, mm. they're, they're, I don't know where the the oh, line yeah, they is. Can get me. See, but yeah, yeah, they, they, they can get me to get, call get up. That, you know, what, right. who's on deck now? Right, you get the <laughs> what, what, drug, what drugs available now? <laughs> yeah, you know what I want to see in this movie. I think I think it could be done pretty easily. I want someone to cut this. They wouldn't have to do too much, but to recut it and to make it a horror movie. Oh boy! I think you just need a different, like a soundtrack to it. If you put a soundtrack to certain parts of this movie, there's. Yeah, a, I mean, dude. what are horror movies? Wandering around a house slowly. What is this movie? I Wandering so. around a house slowly. But there's a fucking ghost. Ghost. that fucking fire yeah. scene. They're creepy as fuck. I don't yeah, give a shit. There's, there's, a, there's a ghost die. a couple times. Fuck. Someone's gonna die or something though. That doesn't no, it's happen the ghost, here. dude. It's the it's the ghost. That's the. Although they set it up pretty cleverly to give you a little bit of tension to think that she's because of what her sister did that she might throw herself off the cliff. I right. think that they and if yeah. you see the trailer. The trailer no. makes you think she commits suicide. The blonde one? Uh, so it's yeah. possible to edit it. Yeah. Wait, the, the trailer trailer, fake spoiled this movie? Yeah. That's weird. I think it, it, the trailer made me well, think that... Well, there's nothing that, else going on in the fucking thing. Yeah, they're like, dude, we're not going to sell this beach-sitting movie. No one yeah. will ever come see it. Hey, yeah. come to this this movie where people, they just kind of sit and talk, <laughs> you know, in the quiet. <laughs> it's done so quiet. Yeah, I don't know. The dude. It really is. It really does something... Just by showing in a lot of ways of what what it felt to be a woman there and, and in terms of how trapped you were and what options you had, you know, and, and bringing the maid in, the maid getting the abortion and all of that stuff, you know, it's, it's kind of a subplot. It actually helps them bond because that, that's, you know, that's one way you bond with other people. You go and you do stuff. Um, I laughed and, at one point in this movie when, when the when the, <laughs> they were trying to do the homemade abortion thing and they had that. Uh, Younger, I don't know if she was younger or just shorter, but yeah, she was hanging from the baby. rafters, and then yeah. they were having a conversation. You just hear her fall to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty. Funny. Yeah, she's done. <laughs> I think she would she pass out or something, or her arms I just. Gave I don't know what she was. De- they didn't show what was going on. Like I don't know how she was hanging. What it meant. I was like, what is she? Is she like on a noose? They didn't show her face. So I had no idea what was going on there. I was like, what's yeah. that? What's what's she doing? Is yeah. she dying? I don't know. The movie did that a few times where they misled you by not showing you exactly what was happening. Like the first shot, she was like, see my silhouette. She was talking about painting her. And I was like, she's going to be naked, right? This is an R-rated movie. Oh, she's right, right. I, I totally thought, I, I totally thought too, like see or see the, the curves or right. see how. And I was like, all right, she's, they're going to cut to whoever this is and they're going to be naked. But, right. Yeah. No, I thought that closed. too. Mm. It was like, oh, it's not going to be that kind of movie. All right. Right. Yeah. And then <laughs> for like, a, it was actually weird. I don't know. If you guys thought this too, but whenever there's R in a movie, I guess I have a little thing being like, "What? Why is this R?" The first half of this movie could be rated G. 
Yeah. And the, yeah, until, probably. until there's like yeah. three quarters of the way in, uh, the Burnett Marianne was was just in bed and didn't have any pants on, basically. Right, right. And I was like, mm-hmm. that's why this is R? They're just going to give it and an then, R and because they wanted to keep it in there? Got better? Worse? Well, I mean, yeah, uh, then they, they got yeah. naked towards <laughs> the end, but yeah. still, I was but like, it was all, again, yeah. very tastefully done, all of it. I mean, it yeah. certainly wasn't like gratuitous, even. It just was like, yeah, no, it is, wasn't. Yeah. It was like, up, oh, they're about to, and now they're done. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like, they, yeah. It's not like blue is the warmest color where they just had like there eight was minutes no of sex. sex. It was just a uh, romance. Yeah, they yeah. did a hard cut, you know? like completely yeah. passed over all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, like you don't need yeah. to know what happens next. You're fine. Right, right. You yeah. get it, right? You yeah, it. me too. Got, okay, next. It. I think they got it. Let's go back to quiet. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we're going to go back to quiet and talking. And to end, I guess, my portion of this, uh, the the last shot of the freaking movie was so goddamn good. Oh, so Jesus freaking good. Christ, why was it so long? Because I don't get it. Because you have to see her, dude, I, I thought it was great. I could have gone with more you of are, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 whoa, whoa. Jesus Christ, <laughs> I would have cut that down three quarters. Nope. Easy. Disagree. I effect. loved it. Loved it. I oh. hated that shot. I hated the end of the movie. I was like, wow, they oh. just ended it there, huh? Jesus fucking Christ. I really, I really liked how they showed the paint. I loved it when they saw show the painting and you see her there with the book on the page. I loved that. I had a question I that about that. Great. Did she just like go yeah, up what was towards that part? the end? I don't quite understand that. So what? that the the Burnett drew a naked picture of herself in the book on page twenty eight. So it right. was oh, like Oh, and that also is page twenty eight. Yeah. Yeah. I see. That's I saw twenty eight. My question was following. did the did the uh, blonde tell thing. the painter? Just add page 28 there. Don't ask why. You added it. Because, like, she wasn't no, painting no, herself. She's like, this is my favorite section of this book, and I just want to make sure you get that, because this is my favorite part of this book, and I want I want to remember that. I'm yeah. sure she could have yeah. given any excuse. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm but, sure if you're that maybe, important, you're probably not even asked. Right. If you think about it, maybe it's a little, yeah, wow, that's a, that's a high level of detail for a painting like that. But I don't care. I just love the, the thought of what it meant. Yeah. Was that mm. how it showed what what it meant that she wanted her she wanted to know that if she ever saw it that it would be clear that she still was thinking of her. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, I thought that was right. pretty cool. That was very sweet. It was, oh, it's, I agree. I even I, and I, I love that whole scene where I love the scene of like, you know, where where she's got the painting of Orpheus there, and she's like, yeah, that, yeah, I did that under my father's name, and and the guy is just like talking about it. I I, I actually I like the other part of it. I like that whole Orpheus idea. Of of looking back, I thought that was really sort of a neat that they dwelled on that story a little bit. This idea of you did something that was wrong, and are you supposed to like reflect on it? And again, not that it's truly wrong, but by from societal standards at the time or whatever was thought of as this is wrong, this is improper, this is unnatural, you shouldn't do this. Um, and that are you supposed to look back and and remember it fondly and. Um, I, I'm surprised they didn't do Lot's wife, which was the same kind of thing, which is from the Bible, where Lot's wife they burn Gomorrah, and Lot's not life isn't supposed to look, and she does, and because she like possibly because she like oh I'm gonna miss that city I loved it, and that gods or angels or whatever turn her into a pillar of salt because of that. Um, it's somehow this idea that you've done something wrong and you don't regret it or you wish you could do it again. And and the idea of that this is the forbidden love thing. I don't know. I just kind of like that and how they wove it in. Mm-hmm. So that's the same thing. It's like they they love each other, but it's it's forbidden. They they can't do this, and and they don't really have much of a choice other than just to wreck their lives. And they're not going to necessarily do that. Like she, that's where they have that argument, which I thought was really powerful. Where where she's like, "What? What? I'm going to run off with you? Do you really? Is that really? Is that a thing?" And it's, right. I, you know, where, where she has to come back and say, you're right, it's, it's not a thing. It's just not a thing. You know, this, this isn't this isn't some kind of silly romance or silly, silly like fantasy story where you get to like do something that's forbidden like that in this place and time being women. Um, and I thought that was really effective. Yeah, I totally agree. John, what did you think about the last shot? Come on. Come on. I liked it. I, I thought it did go. I I will I will side with TC that that was a long time. I didn't know where she was all going. She was crying. She was laughing. She's crying. She's it's just getting more and more intense. It made me feel a little uncomfortable. So, but <laughs> Damn I, I did. I did love. I love. That was the I first time the, at the opera. Probably she talked about it earlier. Has she only ever heard church yeah. music before? Jesus. I don't know. I thought she'd been there many. Christ. I don't know. I I, 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 I I love the circling back to though that you know that's the song that she played on the piano. 
and and described her and told her how she'd go see oh, it one God. day. See, I, never, I didn't put that together either. I barely watched this fucking yeah. thing. I, I just, I'm so bad with subtitles, too. <laughs> well, that was that was part of the sort of like circling back. But but you wonder, it's like, well, why not? You wouldn't you still want to go and like contact her or something? I mean, where I was she? Was she on? I mean, you have to assume she was the teacher at that point, right? Yeah, yeah, and I gotta yeah, just have a like, sullen look on her face every I mean, second. I, I don't know, I don't know what the punishment or what the reaction would be for such a thing, but she would be disowned and and yeah, pennies. right, no, I mean, no more money given to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so okay. what? What do we? So, TZ, I'm not gonna ask what you think. You can just keep peppering in the negative comments as we go along. But <laughs> what do you think, John? About the, <laughs> since you kind of like the movie, the first scene. Did you find that necessary or could that have been completely cut out and nothing would have changed in the movie? Speaking about uh, when, she, when the main character, what's her name? Marianne when she's was posing and, in front of a I class. I liked it. I liked it. Was it necessary? Oh, what, the one where they, what did they give exposition us? almost of setting necessary? you up for it? Yeah. I thought they, they just gave you the, the painting. That's it. Right. Yeah. But that painting also did never came back except for you saw the scene. Well, that's where the whole point. You would never have seen it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I guess maybe, they, that, they, maybe they, they maybe they put that in later. It was like, well, we don't have anything of the paintings. People I didn't, I didn't mind that. I I, actually, I just didn't mind it because you just see her. I, I sort of like that. Um, I don't mind. I didn't mind it. it. It gives you a sense of like, well, it's almost like what you're going to do. It sets you up. Oh, with, it's, with, no, it's the thing that John likes. Right? It ruins like the a, ending for you, so you get to enjoy the ride. It's more. almost like it's like right. <laughs> Right, John? I can say that. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like I I'm would, not going to be mean, with this woman, so I'll tell you yeah. that first. So don't get your hopes up. But watch think, this freaking slow burn of a movie. You know what? Yeah, you know what? The flashback I mean, thing is always never. So, is always well, a shit. Yeah. Well, Denny, I mean, right. if, if you're if you're thinking that that's there was a reason for why they did that, that's probably one of the reasons. Probably. So, yeah. And and yeah. so they that so it's not a useless. Um, Depending on uh, that's what scene. you want to go for, but I just in the movie there was no tension and also i think it would have been more fun knowing there i didn't know what this movie was about really i mean it's about a person that's going to paint a picture of another person but the first two minutes of the movie let you know that it's going to be a romantic story in some way whether or not it's one-sided or two-sided you don't know yet but you know that this main character is going to be right in some way very interested in this blonde person yeah which is really? kind of a spoiler because it doesn't really yeah. happen until halfway through the movie that that starts happening. Oh, right. really? Is that what it was? <laughs> uh, you said pepper him in. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Light shakes, cool. TC, not handfuls. Come on. Uh, <laughs> I just opened the top. There's yeah. no top. You know, just fucking pour it out. Oh, God. What else you got, John? Uh... I think that's again. I, the scenery was beautiful, any, any, especially in the house. The just the way everything was framed, I thought it was all just very beautiful. It was. I don't know of any other movie where there was so much time spent just looking at the characters, because again, to emphasize that that's what they were doing, they were just looking at each other, um, and to do that and to be so confident about it, I don't know. I, I just think it's it's quite impressive, because um, I don't know of many other you should, films. You should watch Carol. Maybe really. Yeah, it's pretty. I'm not good. sure how much I want this. Carol's um, pretty good. I might, and it's it is also a slow lesbian romance story. So maybe I'm letting the lesbian romance story overshadow the similarities. But it is really slow, and it's really beautifully shot. And it's about two people that can't necessarily be together that are women, uh, and it's a period okay. piece. Sounds so I mean, riveting. it is pretty. Sounds similar. riveting. Sounds riveting. <laughs> it's good, dude. It's a good movie. It is nominated yeah. for six oh. Oscars. TC guaranteed you're going to oh. like it. When, when was I Carol? don't think that's well, true. Well, well, uh, 2015. Decide. It's got Kate really? Blanchett and Rooney Mara in it, dude. Kate Blanchett's in it. Can't go wrong. I don't know Rooney, but Rooney Mara. Rooney Mara, yeah, yeah, it's yeah Rooney right. Mara. She was in the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, girl. She, girl yeah. with the Dragon Girl Tattoo, girl. Yeah, she was no, the Dragon shit. Tattoo, girl. <laughs> oh, that one. You what? Uh, is, there, is this? Is there as much talking in those as this one? <laughs> <laughs> yes, John. You didn't see Girl with <laughs> the Dragon Tattoo. <laughs> I did. Yes, oh, yeah. yes. I mean, this is a long time ago, and I also I get it confused because I saw I saw the we're talking. Are you talking about the original ones or the she was in the Fincher ones? one? Okay, yeah. So I I saw the Fincher one too, but I saw the 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 other ones, the ones that are I think they're in, what is it Swedish or whatever. Yeah. After ah, so that nice. one that one's more stuck in my mind. 
But yeah, I don't know what else. Yeah, I, I, I just again think that this is very unique. I don't, I don't really know of another film that did this and did it well. I think you put it really well, Denny. Too is that when some films try to do this, they get too artsy and it gets really annoying. They, they try to make it way. Like they're having too... a dramatic moment on the beach and like they right, just, you right. know, it's, it's, it turns into a fucking high school drama play or something. Right, right. Or, most or, of the time. or there's some kind of like, oh, this is poetry. I want you to know this is poetry. Right. So I'm going to do something <laughs> to somehow convey the extent. The naked the body of... is a metaphor. Right, yeah, right. Somehow I need to convey to you my intelligence as a director. Smash cut to the big Lebowski where she's coming down the thing with the paintbrushes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but I mean, you could even say it's a little art housey when she puts that circular mirror over the crotch of the uh, the blonde one oh, well, as she paints her face. But I thought that was great. She paints her. Oh Jesus! I thought that was a great shot. No, no, it was. It was. Oh, it was, it was cool. It was, it was, it was good. I, I, I just did. There's this. There wasn't a sense of pretentiousness about it. Is all. Right. I don't know how to. I don't uh, know how I'll they, give it that. Yeah, but, totally but, not. Yeah. But I, I think you again. You really hit the nail on the head. When I've seen films do that, there is this kind of pretentiousness that sort of kills it. It's right. just. And because it makes not only is it slow then, but it's obnoxious. Yeah, so it's like, and and you obnoxious. don't like it, and I'm better than you. How do you feel now, fucker? <laughs> <Right. laughs> you're bored, yeah. and I'm better than you, and you're bored because you're stupid. Yeah, yeah. there is. You don't you're like this because you're too because stupid shit. to understand what I'm trying to do here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yep. Uh, so, Thanks, Bergman, so I, I, setting that bar yeah, real low. Yeah. yeah. Fucking Bergman. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now here's my dick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. What do you think about that? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ingmar Bergman, the dick man. Uh, yeah, respect for that guy. <laughs> right, yeah. So, um, uh, I don't know. I, th- I think the movie like really did. It pulled off what it wanted to do. Like it really, like, yeah, a hundred percent. It, it yeah. totally succeeded exactly yeah. what it wanted to do. There was like there was no room for mistakes here. Nothing happened by accident. Yeah, yeah, pretty awesome. TC. Yeah, I wish. You're never gonna watch it again, but I'm sad that you didn't get to appreciate the sound, man. Hey, like yeah, the sound, know. Sound I, really... I know I locked this one away. I was like, this is good fucking uh date. This is good to like, you know. Okay. Relationship. If you movie. do watch it again, put it on good speakers. I would watch, I could watch it with a yeah, I would oh, of course. Come on, if it's the you know, relationship <laughs> movie, you know, in this in this utopia. All right, honey, come watch it on my laptop yep. speakers. I actually no, we're gonna them. watch it. Don't worry, I'm cranking <laughs> no. this fucking thing. Then he said it was good. <laughs> See what we do here is my laptop speakers broke a couple weeks ago, so I'm gonna plug in this iPod. Headset. You get one button, I get the other button. Then we'll yeah. Oh, I just set up a silent thing. We share. We got to cut it close because it's a small tube screen. One. I'll take the I'll take the wire. <laughs> yeah, we'll split the signal. It's good. If On you need computer, why would you play wired and unwired at the same just time? Tap. I can't figure it just out. Tap. Yeah, I'm surprised we got this much out of this movie. Oh, it's a too. short one. I got a, a little bit of trivia if you guys are ready for it. Yeah, I mean, sure. It's a new movie, so there's not that much. In the beginning, have you ever seen a movie that had a uh, the awards that they've won in the opening credits? Yes. No, that was you so have? really yes. I have. No, I, I don't think yes. I've ever noticed that. That before. was a little strange. Yeah. Yeah. It was like we won an award, best writing, can film. I feel Festival. like some of the slow. I feel like some of the smaller indie ones that don't. Maybe this was just not redone after it got picked up or something. Who knows? Like, uh, so maybe. don't. It's gonna be slow. Don't shut it off. All right. It's yeah. Right, like, hey, we actually won awards for this. People so this like might us. Be all right. Easy. Look, I know you watched 12 shitty movies before this, but uh, this 13th this one, one, I promise you. You might also dislike, but that's not our fault, okay? Other people yeah. liked it. Smart people It's slow, liked it. but it's good-ish. I did like, I don't know if you mentioned, I think you might have mentioned it, just that scene in the beginning where like her trunk goes over and she just like dives and gets it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just thought that was done so like, you know, quietly. It yeah. was pretty cool. I like to look at like the sailors being like, are any of you going to get it? And they're kind of like, no. No. <laughs> no. She's like, all right, fuck, I guess I'm going to my dress. I just said I'd row her to the fucking thing. I didn't say I'd dive in after no, her. They just, like, dump her on the shore, too. Just like, you go that way. Yeah, go through the woods. <laughs> yeah, I know, Good right? They're like, yeah, I'm doing this for, like, 10 cents. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did right. realize, though, while we're doing this, I mean, there's no way we can do this video thing, because that just ups Denny's work, like, to buy two. Oh, no, we wouldn't use, do it. We wouldn't, like, publish that. Yeah, we can no, have, but it's more for us to hang out. Yeah, no, it's actually good. I like it. Yeah, you know, oh. once Denny, Denny gets off. <laughs> I agree. His I think it well, works. Yeah, I think it works. It means I'm gonna have to shave and like put on shirts, dude. I don't know. I'm not looking forward no, to it. No, we don't care what you look like, dude. You can you can be naked. It'll be entertaining. Fucking, I don't care. I've been wearing this shirt for like fucking three days, dude. <laughs> That's right. Gives it shit. Uh, I so in the beginning of this movie, they say the the name of the movie, which I love because I love it in like you know Lord of the Rings, Fellowship mm-hmm. of the Ring, where they're like, we'll call it pause. 
the Fellowship of the Ring, and then the music That's really right. like goes up there. You know, yeah, it's my yeah, favorite yeah, shit yeah, movies. Yeah. But so they say that in this movie, and also, I wrote a note. I thought it was funny at the time, but it's in no way funny now. When she <laughs> sent the uh, the picture of the of her the first picture she set on fire, I wrote the portrait of a lady is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Get it. Hey, that's that's great. That's great. Not only you know it's the one and okay. <laughs> no, Denny, your joke sucks. What was the deal with her catching on fire during that like weird festival thing? She tried to kill she herself just, or get attention? No, or she just on? wasn't paying oh, attention. Shit. But she, she saw it and attention. then also stood there. Yeah, because oh. she's so stoic. Uh, was no, she just she deep in thought or whatever? She was stunned. She didn't know what to do about it. I don't know. Or, or she's, she's I don't know. She's in love. It's all that matters. Yeah, maybe. She was just like, <laughs> or she was, yeah, maybe she was. She wasn't like, her mind wasn't on it. I don't it, care like, about the fire. That was all like Help symbolic. She's burning. She's I'm burning, burning inside and on the outside. Can't you see this? Paint this. Paint <laughs> this. How oh, do you see me now? How do you see me now? <laughs> I, I, I'll get on TC's side here for a sec, John. I think you might agree with me. I thought when the girl was getting the abortion and there was the shot above head of her getting the abortion and then there was a fucking infant like oh, next to oh, her. I, know. I thought that, that was, was a little weird. too much. That was that, freaking weird. A little weird. bit much. Yeah. I was like, I get, yeah, she's killing a kid. There's a kid right there. Heavy, I put the I two guess? in two. I put well, the. Like, I don't know. It's just. It's just more like again. There's a small hut. She's got kids. That's just where everybody is. There's one bed. He just put the kids there. I just. I just sort of like took it out to be just more like that's just kind of a natural way things were done anyway. You just. Yeah. But it is a little strange. You're sitting there yeah, holding maybe. his hand. I thought it was weird after the abortion. They. If you just got an abortion, the last thing you're going to want to do is stay up all night posing for a abortion painting. Hmm. Right? Yeah. She just weird. had an abortion. Like, that's got to yeah, yeah. suck. Like, here, no, put your legs up. I don't know. I, I think, in a that's way, them, but, is that try them driving home the point of like they don't have a choice? Well, I don't, or, or just that there's like you paint all these celebrated things and these heroic acts, and you never will see something that was really hard for somebody to do like this. I don't know. I kind of was trying to think about that. Like, maybe they're sort of like just, it's almost like, yes, this was this very difficult thing that you just did. We're going to paint it like it was like uh, uh, an epic adventure, or like something that was, right. you know, a terrible thing that was had to be done and that nobody will ever, nobody would ever paint a picture yeah, of it. Wait a day or something, man. Right. She <laughs> yeah. just got back I'm from an old school well, abortion. You know, I'm you not, know, tonight know. might not be well, the night. I, I've I got some chest it's pains. I don't strange. know anything. So what drugs were they doing that they shoved into their armpits? That I don't know. That was weird. Yeah, yeah I didn't it know, seemed like I it was know. some kind of. You're a drug expert. I think yeah, like right? Molly. Right? I know. What's the equivalent of old school like, Molly? I, I, what, 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 is that? what fuck are they doing right now? Yeah. The no eyes idea. dilated, I have no idea. and they is seemed it, like they needed water. You know, was something? it just like made up for the movie or something? I don't. I don't well, know. No. What? Everything, everything else was so like period specific. You'd think that it has to be. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to things in their arm. Like, what would that possibly do? I'm going to Google arm drugs. All right, you want to hear some trivia? Very little. Very little I, I, trivia. Are we not already in trivia? Jeez. That was just uh, talking parts, I guess. That was pre-trivia yeah. trivia. Got it. The director is uh, an ex-lover, quote-unquote, with uh, the person who plays the blonde girl, Heloise. Really? The, uh, the oh. role. So the director is also the writer, and she wrote that role with this woman in mind. So and this is why we had while they were while they were going out or after they'd broken up after they'd broken up. But uh, so this actress had been in a bunch of this direct writer director's movies previously. So they they've worked together before, too. It's the muse. Exactly. And the fuck. Oh, geez. It's a willy nilly all day. I'm going to film you. I mean, it's literally what's going on in the in their relationship is what's in the movie. <laughs> can't really can't really find out what that drug is. So I don't know. If anybody knows. Let me it's know. not real. There's no maybe drug you yeah. put in so your armpit. No armpit drug? Yeah. Come on. Drug. I, would, I would know. I think it's <laughs> what you saw was they were just about to touch each other, so they put put on the first Old Spice. Or, you know, <laughs> Ooh, first smells nice. female deodorant. Yeah, like, oh, you don't smell so bad now. <laughs> that would be the only fucking you know, it Took her two weeks to take a bath, damn it. Relative thing. Kept thinking yeah, about so it, we just she wouldn't do it. So we rub in our armpits now. It makes you smell good there. It's, it's good stuff. It's called Old Spice. <laughs> It's like, why old, old spice? Leaf. Well, because you know, it's a spice. Don't you want to put new spice there? Like, if it's old, isn't yeah. it moldy? I mean, well, it sounds old as time, but uh, it's the spice that keeps it right, you know. DC, oh, would you put this in the top 250? No, John, would you put this in the top 250? 
Yeah. I would not. I, just, I, I would not, not too. I'm, I'm like a close, I'm on the edge about it, but I, I still think again, I, I think it's slow. It, it's just so different. It's so, it's so well done given what it wants to do. I think that deserves a spot. So there. That's I mean, good. there's a lot I, of I mean, shitty, there's a lot of shitty movies in the list and this one's better than those. So that's, that's true. a good, fair point. I mean, it's not wrong. I just wouldn't put it there, but that's fine. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I mean, it was really good. I would recommend it to people if they were in the right mood. But I think the only thing that it does that's unique is that it does what it does well. And what it's doing is like not unique at all. I don't think I've seen a lot of movies like this before in a lot of ways, but it, it is done really, really well. Maybe. Hey, man, you haven't even seen uh, Carol, John. Uh, it's the same freaking movie as this. You should put it on your list. Yeah, maybe I should. Uh, Timmy, thoughts? Uh, no, no, I'm just still watching that scene where it was really tense, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what was the tense scene? Where they looked at each other and it, like they were like both in the shot. They were looking directly at each other and they kind of like one of them walked away back to the uh, painting, I think maybe. I don't remember. Yeah. I just remember sitting there being like, I just remember sitting there being like, <gasps> uh, like in my head, you know what I'm saying? Like, whoa, I think my balls just went inside. That was, uh, that was, that was. Oh geez, that was that was kind of hot. That was, uh, that was a little hot. <laughs> yeah, I see where this is going now. Oh, oh shit! I get it. You know, Time to I start paying attention. I heard Timmy in the back, like, "Oh, I guess it's not that bad, is it? You fucking prick!" You know. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Timmy for the first time. That's what yeah. Timmy looks like. Yeah. Oh, look at you, fucking all fucking tensed up. Where's your balls? Are you on the inside, you little fucking pussy. Look at you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. All right. All right, so nice. Another <laughs> bonus one down the tubes. Yeah. Next week, back to the list. We're watching the 1992 mo- movie Reservoir Dogs, direct- <laughs> directed by Quentin Tarantino. When a simple jewelry heist goes horribly wrong, the surviving criminals begin to suspect that one of them is the police informant. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, rate, subscribe, or you know, tell your friends because we're on Spotify and that doesn't right. have well, anything right. to Take promote it. yourself <laughs> within the platform. So, nice. thanks, Spotify. Thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh yeah yeah mission250filmcast.com is the website uh yeah all right later all right, dudes guys. see you next yeah. week see you next week <laughs> <laughs>